In this video clip, I'd like to talk about editing your documents and also check in, check out, which I think uh, makes a lot of people mad, but it's because we don't quite understand what it's used for. In this uh, SharePoint document library of mine, the um, opportunities or ways that I have to actually get documents in here is of course to say new, and I can actually create a new Office document right here and it'll actually load it in this library. I can also upload it. Now, I still work in the old way where I work in my local um, office, and I then upload the files. When uh, you have a document already uploaded, it's actually quite simple to, uh, to edit the document. So if I click on this document name, um, it actually is going to ask me to open in Word, and I'll explain that in a little bit. And I'm gonna just say open in Word, and I'm gonna just give this a moment to make some changes. And, uh, So there's my changes made. I'm gonna just close the document and uh, you'll see that it's gonna update the modified date um, as soon as it uh, refreshes, of course. So I can also see the versions because the versions are switched on on this library. Remember again, that um, update that'll be coming through um, quite soon. So I can definitely see the changes that's been made to the document. I can um, see previous versions. But now what I want to do is I actually want to switch on check in, check out on this uh, library. So I'm going to go to the library settings. And in the library settings, I'm going to just go to versioning. Now in versioning, I can say that yes, require the documents must be checked in and checked out. This really works great if you have uh, multiple people that might be wanting to work on the same document at the same time. And I'm not talking about co-authoring type of environment because of course that's an um, opportunity as well or a way to do that as well. So now if I wanted to edit this document, I would have to check it out first. Keep in mind that if you do edit um, your metadata in bulk view, your documents better be checked out or it's not going to allow you to do those. There you can see that it's updated, that I just edited this document. So I'm going to again just um, click on this document to edit it. I'm going to say open in Word and then let's see if it allows me to edit it or if it allows me to uh, or gives me a button to say, hey, we, uh, we need to check this document out. So let's just give it a moment. So there you can see at the top of the document now it says, hey, checkouts required. Um, to modify the server document, you must check it out first. So let's check it out. I'm going to make a change. Um, so made some more changes to this document uh, while checked out. I'm going to just save this. I'm going to close the document. And now you'll see that it's asking me, do you want to check this document back in? If I don't check the document back in, the users cannot see um, the current changes that I'm busy with. It's only when I check it back in that it builds a new version and that they, they can actually see the changes. Um, it's asking me, do you want to check it back in now? I'm going to say yes. Sadly, this is not compulsory, the version comments, but I am going to put coming comments in. So um, I've added um, a paragraph under so and so blah blah and um, yeah I can still say keep it checked out which I'm not going to do and I'm going to publish it to a major version so I'm going to say okay and then uh, make sure that the document's been changed so if I had to go to the version settings now version history you'll see that this document um, actually has little comments now. So that's quite important for me if I use check in, check out, because you can add a note there and say, what is it that you've changed? And here you can see that this document's been published to a major version as well. So that really helps a lot actually to use a check in, check out to, uh, to make sure that you can work on something for a couple of days and people can't see the changes. So just to go back to, um, to the settings in this library, is that if I go to version settings, important uh, enough, is that here it says um, as well when you use approvals, please keep in mind uh, who should see draft items of the document, um, etc. So um, under normal circumstances, I mean, people are not going to see the edits that you're busy making while it's checked out to you. It's only when you check the document back in that they can actually see that. And then just something else I want to show you under the settings is under advanced settings, you would have noticed that my uh, document opens straight in Word. It doesn't open in online. And this is where you can set it. So under advanced settings, this is where you can say the default open behavior, open in client app, open in the browser, open server default. I've set it to client app, which is my Word, um, of course. So I do think uh, that that's going to help you quite a bit. And uh, we'll chat soon.